Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, Gretchen, and good evening. Um, this is kind of a different um, type of video. Um, so normally, I don't really do like too much content other than MVs and albums here. Like occasionally, we'll have the image and service, and we'll have the shows and stuff. But after we checked out um, Melomance a couple times, we had a viewer request for it as well as a. Uh, we had the SM Station uh, duet with Wendy. And a part of me was very curious uh, about looking into more. And also, there were um, pretty much everyone who suggested something by Melomance for that viewer suggestion thing mentioned the uh, Killing Voice version that they did on uh, Dingo Music. And, well, I'm, I'm going to be frank. Ding uh, Dingo Music's Killing Voice is one of my favorite like series is to like learn a new group because they pretty much run through their entire popular discography from beginning to end and you kind of get like a it's like a sample sampling menu from all their songs in the past and yeah kind of personal curiosity as well for me like after that um uh late night uh juke jay late night studio uh little jam session they did i'm kind of curious to know more about them as a just as like performers and what they do because i'm until i checked out the wendy video i was completely in the dark on who they were and yeah because the uh release schedule for right now is a little bit slow um we're gonna check it out so all those of you who uh asked for me to check out the uh dingo music killing voice you got your wish now this won't be kind of like a normal thing we do it's just it, timing happened to work out perfectly uh i didn't ha get the chance to upload like a request post because i was so busy with coursework this past week those of you who don't know i'm a ta uh for my old master's program so i finished my master's degree last year but the professors called me back in to help with the class because it's um instead of it being hybrid it's 100 percent in person and she wanted the extra set of hands and so i've been helping out with the master's classes again and um i got called in to do a double shift because uh, one of my fellow tutors uh directed covid at the beginning of last week so yeah it's been a busy week for me but here to check out some music um don't know how cotton id works with killing voice I haven't done anything long enough to warrant a content ID block, but we're gonna risk it anyways. If this doesn't end up on YouTube, well, we tried. But here we go. Three, two, one. No captions, and unfortunately, all the song titles are in Hangul, which means I can't read them. 안녕하세요. 저희는 감성디오 멜로망스이고요. 저는 보컬 김민석입니다. 오늘 하루 잘 부탁드리겠습니다. When I'm thinking about you, 많은 사람 중한 사람 내게 전부가 되었단 말을 이제 알아서. Oh, appropriate song to start. It literally means greeting. 흔하다고 생각했던 사랑 얘기가. I'm gonna leave that off to the side so I can. Uh... Or typing what the songs are. <laughs> Jesus, what a vocal run. It makes that sound way too easy. song Fairy tale. Okay. 
take your game. 저희 곡 중에 로맨틱한 곡들도 꽤나 있거든요. 대표적인 곡으로 입맞춤 이어서 들려드릴게요. 그대 입술 oh God, I might just have to abandon the search for all these song titles because I'm trying to look it up on Spotify and they're also in Hangul. Okay. We'll just enjoy the music. Oh. Wait, hold on. I don't usually do these, but I kind of want to hear that note again. Instead of going the full step up, only a half step up. Very interesting. His head voice is unreal. He makes it sound so easy. It's like, we haven't heard much chest voice from him yet, which is really impressive. Transition? A little bit of a waltzy feel. We're in triple meter now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Unless, is this technically his chest voice? That's his head voice. If a lot of what he's saying has really been his chest voice, his flip up into his head voice is seamless. Like, it's almost indistinguishable. Oh, Key's going crazy in the background. Okay, I think this is an OST if it's part two. so unfair. response to the piano is so cool. It's giving off very musical vibes. I like that one. I like that one so far. This one's my favorite. Swing you with it. Get out, that's... that's dumb, that's so high. 
This is the one they did on a uh, Drip J's Late Night Studio. But my god. We're gonna pause right there for like a little mental break. How does he make that so easy? Like, it sounds like he's just. Nah, walk in the park, just easy day. That's so unfair. How. Man, tell is a. <sighs> Imagine being this talented. Continue. That's also a very good song. And I love the live piano accompaniment too. Yeah, this must be his chest voice. Different little vocal run there. I have so many questions. Because, like, I genuinely don't know if he just has a really high chest voice or an extremely wide range on his head voice or he's just really good at mixing tones or what but i can tell absolutely no difference between what i'm assuming is his chest voice and what i'm assuming is his head voice and i'm genuinely so caught off guard by it like, this is the lowest thing we've heard so far from him. That one so far was the most like clear-cut chest voice song that we've gotten so far. Apologies for this. Nah, yeah. 
욕심이 너와 함께 웃어줄 수 있는 시간조차도 욕심일까봐 너를 잃어버릴 일이 될까봐 가만히 있는데 Jace, that held no. The way that it just builds. It doesn't lose any strength the longer the note is held in. Oh, the really gentle vocal. Such nice transitions in between the notes. There's like no little sliding around here and there. It's just. I tried finding what uh, Kim Min Sok's like musical background was, but I couldn't find anything. Changing notes on the health note there. Very. But also, like, he didn't lose strength when he changed notes. It's really hard to do that at the end of your breath to make it clean and consistent. Why does this song sound familiar? <laughs> that cute. Chogum do piona cocata, could get all up a cocata, Nichikam your That's... I'm dumbfounded by that. Wait, that has to be his head voice. This, that'd be really hard to do a chest voice with that much air in it. This song sounds familiar as well. Think honestly, like my favorite part. Crying out loud, what?
What have I just witnessed? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> that held note kept going, and it kept going. What? <laughs> Give me the last 15 seconds back again. That's dumb run. That is. That's illegal. <laughs> That's just not fair. Awkward exit. There it is. <laughs> what? That's... That's, that's not fair. What have... First he's got the vocal range that any tenor would be jealous of. Like, I used to sing tenor in choir. It's like, if, if I do sing, I have a fairly high singing voice. That's just not fair. That's on a different, like, that is... Kim Min Sook's voice is borderline like a counter tenor type voice. It's so high and it's comfortably high. Like throughout all the songs that he just sang in the killing voice segment, not once did his high, whether whatever tone he was singing, whether it was his head voice or like a really high mix voice or what have you, there was never an instance where it sounded like those high notes were strained. Even on that ridiculous vocal run in the last song, there was. N you don't feel any strain when you listen to his voice. Like, his breath control, his breath support, his tonal stability, especially in the higher register, is top notch. I'm so blown away by that. What the hell? What the actual hell? <laughs> oh. My head hurts from that. Like, I'm I'm emotionally tired from listening to that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Y'all who asked for this, you know what you're doing. Okay, I see you. Um, again, typically, killing voices are kind of, like, they're hard to do, like, one video, mainly because, you know, an MV is, like, four minutes or so, three minutes, four minutes or so, and I just ramble for like 10. And that's a 15 minute video there. The recording stuff this long just, it takes a long time to do, and I'm kind of glad we got to do it on a weekend like this where it was a little bit slow because that was so much fun. And uh, maybe we might get a little bit more killing voice stuff in the future. But. That's it for me today. Thank you all for suggesting me this. Um, I know this wasn't like a formal request video per se, but I couldn't help myself. My curiosity got the better of me and yeah, with good reason. But yeah, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy and want to see more channel icons up there, you can find the back catalog stuff watching the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, Bye-bye.